What's up everybody? Aaron with Quality Service today at, at Ameba, North Carolina. Real quick, we're gonna go over how to check gas pressures on a gas water heater. Make sure it's burning right, flowing right. All right, we're gonna check some gas pressures on this water heater right quick. Um, you need to look at the inlet, the max, pressure your max inlet is 14 inches of water column so you're going to turn your manometer on see if I can get that to stick somewhere make sure it's zeroed out turn your gas to the off position so right now we want to check and make sure I didn't have any duct tape here. I'll take that tube and we're going to stuff it up in there. Duct tape works better. I didn't have any duct tape handy. Or you can get fancy, drill a hole in a cap. Turn your gas on. So we're right about 10 there. You really need to have a cap on that. I didn't have a cap with a hole drilled in it. So that's manifold pressure. Now there's a little plug over here. You're gonna wanna take out find the right Allen wrench. Remember, pilot's, pilot's still off, gas is still off. Sometimes this plug can be a little difficult to get out. So you gotta check your inlet pressure before you get started. There's a little adapter. Thread that up in there. It doesn't really have to be tight or nothing like that. Just get it hand snug down. We're going to zero our meter back out. We're going to turn our gas on. We're going to relight our pilot light. Got some air in there, here. Our 
gas pressure is a little bit low right there. Probably need to go check a regulator, turn it up some. That's a little bit on the light end. It should be uh, it should be at least 11 to 14. So that's a little bit on the low side. We want to we we need to get it right in the middle. But this is what tells me that there's an issue. That's why that flame. I can hear that flame kind of gradually come on and just don't just whoosh. it's because the gas pressure is a little bit low but that's how you check the gas pressure to make sure that there's enough flow coming through this gas valve because because right now the way it stands this heater eventually is going to have an issue because it's not it's burn it's not burning rich clean enough it needs the proper gas gas pressure to burn clean enough look at your gas pressure make sure that you have the right flow all the way through it. The other test that you can do is if you suspect there's a pilot light issue, but it's extremely rare, you can, you can, uh, a lot of times the easiest thing to do is get an old one of these and cut it off. And so you can shove your hose on it and screw something to test the pilot gas pressure. So you take an old pilot tube and you just saw it off and then you can push your tube on there and, and you can check the pilot gas pressure. But it's extremely, extremely rare to have an issue with the gas coming from there. And this plug is a 3 16 Allen wrench. Tighten that back up, relight a pilot light. And that's how you check your gas pressures.